Hi there. Um, in this video, I'd like to talk about uh, computer systems and digital signals. Computer system can be divided into two categories. The first one is general purpose computers. The second one is embedded systems. Let's talk about general purpose computers. As you can see from the pictures here, a general purpose computer can be a desktop or a laptop. Let's take a peek inside a typical uh, desktop. If you were to remove uh, one of the side panel of a desktop and you look inside of the desktop, you'll probably see a bunch of wires uh, and something called a motherboard. Now here's a picture of a typical motherboard. Now the main electronic component on the motherboard is a device known as a microprocessor. Uh, we'll come back to microprocessor in a different video. Now general purpose computers applications are wide. Um, for example, you could be working on a Word document. You could be browsing on the internet or you could be watching a video. Now, for an embedded system, um, physically, the board itself, it's very small. It could be the size of a credit card. And the main electronic component on a embedded system is something called a microcontroller. We'll come back to microcontroller in a different video. Now, the applications of embedded system is unlike the desktop, they are very specific. Embedded system could be part of a bigger system. For example, here's a picture of a flight cockpit of a commercial airplane. The main function of an embedded system in this case is to control or to fly or assist the pilot to fly the aeroplane. Now on this side, uh, you, the embedded system could be managing the engine system of a car or the electronic systems. So the applications are very specific. Now regardless of uh, uh, a general purpose computer or a embedded system, they both operate on something called digital signals. So what is a digital signal? Let me just change my pointer to a pen. Now um, here where you see a space, right, that is a logic zero where there is an occurrence of a signal that is a logic one. Now you could call this when it's a logic zero a off state or when there is a one a logic one you call it an on state or you could call a logic zero a low Or when there is a logic one, you call that a, you guessed it, high. Now, typically <clears throat> when, at, uh, when the uh, signal is a logic one or high, typically they could be five volts. But on more modern electronic, uh, digital electronic devices, these days they are about 3.3 volts. So this is a typical um, digital signal. Now, here is an example of an 8-bit uh, digital signal. Here is a logic 0, uh, yeah, and logic 1, logic 0, followed by two logic 1s because there are occurrence of uh, high here. Then there is space of logic 0, logic 1, logic 0. So that is a typical uh, digital signal. Now uh, that's all I would like to talk about for this video. 
I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.